Good day and welcome to all the beta testers who are actually working with SRS to help us make S the SRS HD Audio Lab a better software to provide the, the most out of your entertainment experience. Um, just to give you a quick run through of how the software works, we have this Sony laptop loaded up with the SRS H HD Audio Lab. This laptop is a standard factory build with Vista 64-bit. This has not been modified in any way, shape or form. So let's go ahead and jump right into the software. On the top left hand corner you will notice the HD Audio Lab icon. Go ahead and click the icon. That will launch the software. Okay. As you notice a lot the software went through a couple of stages uh, of animation. When it's completely loaded the flanges are open and the software is ready to use. Um, I'm going to just jump right into the panel and the way the, and what the panel options are. The options are your best friend. Here are listed the options which will determine the functionality and the experience in using the software. The first option is for which particular sound card is listed. In this particular unit there's only one. You may have a system with an HDMI output or an SPDIF output. Uh, you are, it is highly recommended and beneficial for you actually. Let me rephrase that. You should use the software, the out output which says HD audio output on it. That's the way it works. Select that. Show startup animation. Show play animation sounds. Start automatically at boot. These are defaults. If you uncheck the animation option, the panel opens up in its entirety and does not go through the animation phases. If you uncheck the play animation sounds, there are no animation sounds for the panel itself. Again, that matter of personal choice. We will leave these on for right now. The reset configuration defaults will come back to in a minute. When you're done with these, go ahead, click OK, and back to the panel. The panel is divided into, into two portions, the left portion of the flange and the right flange. The right portion is your outputs. These represent what kind of speakers you will be using. The top uh, option is headphones. The middle option is built-in laptop internal speakers. The third option is external speakers. The external speakers uh, are something which you have more than one configuration available and in trying to get you the most, the best possible experience, we have the selection available for different speaker outputs. 2.0, 2.1, 5.1, 7.1. And as you notice when I click on them, the halo shifts down to whichever is selected. And in most cases the default is a 2.1, we will leave it selected 2.1. When you're done, you may click the speakers option again and it will close that panel. Or you can click uh, any other um, configuration option. On the left hand side of the panel, we have three modes. The top mode, uh, represented by the movie reel, is actually movie modes for movies, videos. The middle one is for music mode. The third one is gaming. Uh, it is always recommended if you have two channel co output, two channel content, the music mode may actually serve you the best and again it's a matter of choice and you going through back and forth with what particular uh, media you have. On this particular side we have the volume button. This volume is tied to your master system master volume. So if you'll notice when I do this under Vista or XP this volume level will go up and down as well. Actually, okay. But that controls your master system level. In the, in the middle here you have the off on button. When you click this to turn it off the panel will completely close. There is no other options here available. The, uh, the master volume is still available because that is part of System Master. You turn it back on again, it turns back on again. These two little arrows on the side, on the left and the right side, actually are not your system selector. They are to minimize or maximize or collapse the flanges for you. So in a minimized mode but powered on, these particular arrows show up. They'll expand and collapse and in an off state these arrows will disappear because there's nothing to expand or collapse. Jumping down to the advanced control panel, click here. This will drop down the panel and these panel, this panel has uh, additional options for user to play with to customize our sound. Uh, listing of what these options are, um, are available in the help which is accessed by clicking on top. I'm going to close this again and these uh, these options will change depending on what mode you're running it in. Uh, some controls are applicable to all, some are not. Depending where you are, the controls will show up. Um, we talked briefly um, about this uh, reset configuration defaults in this area. If you make any changes in here and you forgot what the defaults were and you maxed everything out, you can simply go back to options, 
reset configuration defaults and it will take it back to where it was from the factory. When you're done, go ahead and close this. If you wish to minimize, go ahead and click this. It'll drop the panel down to the task tray. It's still running. It's not in bypass mode. It's just not visible. To bring it back up again, click it, and we're good to go. Um, that concludes our brief overview of the SRS HD Audio Lab panel. Thank you.